been arrested. Both are charged with first degree or second degree murder of the little boy, Jeremy Martis, and attempted second degree murder of his father, Chris Few. Again, we are waiting everyone. But there you see two marshals being put into a unit where they have been arrested. Now, you're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV. These scumbags right here shot and killed a six-year-old child who was wearing a seatbelt. Let's not waste no more time. Uh, let's go. Nothing is more important than this badge that we wear in our uniform. The integrity of why we wear it, because the public, the public allows us to wear that. It's not a right, it's a privilege. And tonight, that badge has been tarnished by the following two individuals. Derek Stafford, he's 32 years old, he's a lieutenant full-time with the Marksville Police Department. Norris Greenhouse, Jr., uh, he's a full-time Alexandria City Marshal, and he's a part-time Ward 2 uh, Marshal here in, in Marksville. Both individuals were working in their secondary, job, secondary jobs here in Marksville as, um, as marshals. Um, you know, tonight is about the death of, uh, of Jerry Morris. Jeremy Morris, six years old. He didn't deserve to die like that. And that's what's unfortunate. What we've done the last 72 hours is we've interviewed witnesses. We have um, obtained forensic evidence, which I shared a little bit with you the other day. Uh, we did countless interviews. We've taken body camera footage. And we've also taken the audio 911 recordings. Also, we've used investigative protocols that's at our disposal, all means available to us as we got to the conclusion tonight. The only person we've talked to outside of our detectives and myself has been the judge that signed the warrant tonight. Again, those warrants for second degree murder and attempted second degree murder. Both of those individuals, Derek Stafford and Norris Greenhouse, will both be booked on one count of second degree murder and one count of attempted second-degree murder. As I told you, we took some of the body cameras footage. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you this. It is the most disturbing thing I've seen. And I will leave it at that. We know a lot about it. This is a complex case. It's got a lot of moving parts. Uh, nothing's more important to me than the integrity of this case, and that's why I don't want to go into details. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. We've got a lot of things to do. It's important to me we continue in a very methodical and a detail-oriented investigation to allow them to heal. Justice has been done tonight, but the investigation is far, far from over. Colonel, how crucial was that video, that body camera video for I, making the arrest? I, I assure the judge that I will not get into any specifics, but I can tell you as a father, it was one of the most disturbing things I witnessed. I, I cannot go into detail. I cannot tell you bits and pieces about it, uh, although I would love to share some of that with you. I simply cannot and won't do that tonight. But as, as a father, much less the head of Louisiana State Police, extremely disturbing, and it is partly why we're here tonight with these charges. I'm grateful that these officers are being charged. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.